memory map. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. I got some pancakes ready for you. I forgot to buy the syrup, but we have some condensed milk. Come sit down. Mom, can I skip breakfast just for today? Don't even think about it. A teacher cannot be hungry. Either you will eat the kids or they will eat you. Ah. <sighs> Mom, last night I had that dream again. About Paris? About the accident. I really don't understand. Well, I was driving the car, but I don't know how to drive. You shouldn't have gone to work very soon. What did the doctors tell you? You should avoid stressful situations, and you decided to become a teacher. So now your brain is taking it against you. But mom, at least it works for me. For four years I've been embroidering. I can't do it anymore. There is no shame in embroidering. You have a knack for it. Look how beautiful these pieces are, hmm? Well, everything is perfect. There's peace and love. You have fine motor skills, just like what the doctor has advised. What have you got now? What? Teachers' meetings, meetings with your students' parents, and also little rascals bringing a cat to class. You forgot to mention the test today. We have a regional test for ninth graders. Mm-hmm. And you're expecting to get a full night of sleep? <laughs> Having that situation, anybody would really have nightmares. I'm not talking about the accident. Mm, accidents normally happen. I completely understand that. I don't understand why I was on the wheel. I wasn't driving, right? You know it yourself. Yet you keep on asking me. That rascal was driving. That Alex. Thank goodness he already left town. After he'd nearly put you into your grave. I wish I could strangle him with my hands. Well, maybe there's a meaning to all this. Mom, I think it's really my good fortune to free up some space for my true love. So tell me right now, who are you going to love there? There's only one man in your school, and it's the principal, and he's married. <laughs> Listen, Lisa, schools are not for groom hunting. Okay, fine, don't worry. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to be late. Mama, your cooking is too good. I forgot about the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh, you're here, Miss Lisa. This is a regional level test. I guess you could have come in earlier. I'm sorry, Mr. Victor. Well, the commission's already here. They'll be overseeing mm -hmm. the entire examination. If ever, mm -hmm. wait at the hallway in case they need help. Mm -hmm. If anyone asks for something, just go and assist them. Uh -huh. And as usual, please help and give chance to those who are struggling. They already know the subject. Of course they do. But if they go out to drink some water or go to the restroom, make sure to find a way to help them out. You know what I mean. I would like to introduce to you Mr. Oleg. He's our new geography teacher. And this here is Miss Elizabeth Andreevna. Mr. Oleg, you'll be assisting us today. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to take this call. <clears throat> Hello? Okay, I'll be right there. Excuse me. <clears throat> Make sure he gets to... I mean, just guide him properly. Uh -huh. I'll catch up with you later. Uh, yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way. <clears throat> you are Mr. Oleg, am I right? Yes, I'm Oleg. Well, to be honest, it has been six months that we haven't had a geography teacher in here. Thank you. Actually, I applied for the language and literature department. I'm a graduate of literature. Poetry major. Mm. I sat at Yevtushenko's desk. Have you read him? The window gives out onto white trees. I looked outside that very window for five years. I even don't know who could be better at teaching literature at your school. But that position is taken. But on the brighter side, I traveled quite a lot. I know my subject very well. That's why I'm your new geography teacher. Well, I teach language and literature. Hmm. Hmm. Excuse me, miss. You're going to? To our literature class? There's an ongoing regional test. Of course I know. I'm the vice principal. Tell me who you are. It's my first day. I'm the geography teacher. I understand. In that case, call Margarita Sidorova. Please say that her mother is calling her right now. May I know why her mother is calling? 
Hmm, I believe that Miss Lyudmila would like to help Rita a little bit. I remember that she's applying to the Regional Lyceum this year, that's why she needs to have good grades. Well, it means she has studied hard for this test. I know she can do it, even without her mother's help. If you will not help me, just step Stay aside! Stay where you are! You've disgraced not only yourself and your daughter, but also the school. I made a deal with the Commission member. Everything will be quiet. The principal is aware of this. Is that commission member red-headed with a mustache? So did he personally allow your daughter to cheat? You were speaking too loudly and we can hear your voices inside the room! Miss Ludmila here implies that you personally allowed her daughter to cheat. Please clarify, is it true? Have you all gone crazy here? I have always wanted to do that. Really? That's right. So what's stopping you? The fear of consequences. You do understand that she has not made a deal with a commission member directly. That's why I'm sure that you will be in big trouble. I wouldn't like to be in your shoes right now. <laughs> I didn't even say a single word. Well, you should have said something. Mr. Oleg is new in our school. You've been with us much longer. You should have taken the situation under control. You can't expect him to do it. And now because of you, Margarita, may not get enough points to enter the regional lyceum. So you have little faith in your daughter? You know what, Miss Lisa? You leave me no other choice but to issue a warning. You must take responsibility. Miss Lisa, please forgive me. If I had known that something like this would happen, I wouldn't let them blame you for what I did. Let them issue reprimand letters all they want. I don't care. Ultimately, people at the Lyceum are not fools. If they suspect the grades are fake, I'll definitely be facing more well-grounded questions. Yes, that is also true. What if... What if we have lunch together? I drop by your canteen. It's not Rio de Janeiro. There is a nice little cafe across the street, though. Maybe if I treat you... My conscience will stop gnawing at me. Hmm? So, you are a traveler then? No. I hate staying in one place for a long time. It's very obvious that you don't like to since you've come this far to Kasnokomsk. Where were you born? In Moscow. Mm. Please don't be very surprised. I'm handling an inheritance matter. Can you tell me what brought you here? I'm a local. Just like that, you're born and raised here? Uh-huh. Well, I moved to Kostrovsk for four years to study at the university. And then I came back. So that's it? Uh-huh. Hmm. I couldn't live like that. Teaching for how many? Five or seven years? Not really. It's my first year of teaching. Oh. Right after graduation, I got into a really bad car accident. And then... I was recuperating for almost four years. Four years? Mm-hmm. It was really serious. Were you driving? Oh, no, I don't drive. My boyfriend was the one who drove the car. Mm-hmm. He lost control of the car and suddenly smashed into a post. He was just fine, but I got seriously injured. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He already left me. He must have thought that I was going to need help for the rest of my life. Something like that, you know? Well, how did he... It's no use asking about the details. I still don't remember anything. I got a severe brain concussion with hypoxia. Right now, you know everything about me. And you have heard my life story. But I haven't heard anything about you. Do you want to share something? Well, my grandma. She's living in Krasnokolmsk. Uh -huh. My father asked me to give up everything and take care of her. Can't you relocate your grandma to Moscow? <laughs> it's not that simple. <laughs> grandma lives by the rule you belong to where you were born. At home, even the walls will help. You know what I mean. She's a stubborn old lady. And my dad takes after her. By the way, my dad is the CEO of a company called TVIL.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce to you Mr. Yevgeny Orlikov. Mr. Orlikov right here is the head of TVIL and will be developing a residential block overlooking the ancient park named after Count Odietsev. You can ask your questions right now. I've got a question. You probably haven't heard about my dad around here. He mainly operates in Moscow. Uh, probably not. There you go. We had a deal. If I stick around here for two years, teaching in school and looking after my dear grandma, he will put me in his will. <laughs> if not, he'll leave all to the competitors. Well, that was somewhat harsh. It's not that bad. Your place is not the worst place on earth. The town is lovely. The people are different. Just like anywhere else. <laughs> By the way, just take that incident with the vice principal today that could have happened anywhere like in Moscow or Mumbai. Well, I'm pretty sure I'll hear some from the principal. What can he do to you? Fire you? He'll be teaching if he does that. <laughs> How can it be possible that my diploma is fake? You tell me. The committee checked it. Your diploma is not in our records. I understand that this can be a terrible mistake on your part. You are a highly qualified teacher. You've been showing everyone good results, and the pupils adore you. But you have to understand, there is nothing I can do if the numbers don't match. I have to be fair. What do I do now? Well, you better do something. You have to resolve this matter at once. And what if I don't? I need to resign? Just aim higher. Counterfeiting state-issued documents is a criminal offense. And so, prove your innocence as soon as possible. So everyone won't think that... You just printed your diploma at home, because your name is at stake here, and you should do something about this, or else you will stain the school's name. It entails criminal liability. Does he really think I counterfeited it? No, actually, he was thinking about how to hurt you more, because he didn't allow the vice principal's daughter to cheat. Let me go talk to him man to man. Wait, I think you shouldn't. Lisa, he doesn't have a problem with you. It's because of me, so I'll deal with it. Good afternoon. All right, my friends. The tramway image in Gumilev's poem is the image of revolution. The author can't remember how he hopped on the wagon. He's just steaming ahead through time and can't stop this huge machine. That was something he's trying to do. Uh, children, continue reading the poem now. I'll be right back in two minutes. Read and think about it. <clears throat> Honestly, we really have a problem with your diploma. Mm. The head of the commission has explained everything to me in detail. So what should we do? We should go to the institute and request that they correct this error. You really did study there, right? Well, yes. My mother says I did. But I can't remember anything. That's it. You have nothing to worry about. The secretary will verify the numbers, and you'll be an entitled member of society. You just need to... Take some proof that you studied there, just to be on the safe side. Why do you want those photos so much? I know that you're a graduate, and you know it too. Why should we prove that to anyone else? Mom, I just want to keep my job. That's why I will have to prove it. Then go work for some normal people. Work for those who won't slander a person, just because of some numbers. Mom, why don't you try to remember where my graduation photos are, and we'll be okay. They were just over there. <sighs> do you suspect your own mother? That I did something else? Wait, hold on. What about my notes? I must have some textbooks or something from school. Of course there was, but I threw them away a long time ago. There's nothing <sighs> left here. But why did you do that? They were consuming the space. Come on, check it. I'll show you. Lisa, the shelf here doesn't have enough space for all your notebooks or for the medicine that the doctor prescribed you. And here you have ultrasound results. Tomography and medical history, it's volumes, Lisa. Volumes were written about you by a lot of doctors. What do you think is better? Is it to keep your notebooks or finally a cure for you, huh? Mom, please forgive me. You see, I just want to find something that could help me to prove them wrong. And you want some proof that you study there? Well, let me explain it to them. I'll tell them a story of how I brought you up alone, of her having sleepless nights and how I sent you to that institute only to see you get tangled up with that bastard Stanko. He was bad for you. And now only to see everything crumble to dust in a single day, in a single moment. Oh my goodness, why is this happening? Mom, please forgive me. Mom. Mom, what's wrong with you, huh? 
Oh my What's God. going on? Talk to me, Mom. <sighs> What's wrong? Should I call the ambulance? Mom, please hold on. I'll call the ambulance. God damn it. Hello. Mr. Oleg, good afternoon. This is Lisa Kovalskaya. I wanted to know who is teaching my classes. Uh, I can't make it to class. I have an emergency. You? That's excellent. I think you are the best man for the job. We are currently studying the Silver Age. No, not yet. As of now, I have not been to the Institute. Actually, my mother got hospitalized today. Yes, I had to postpone the trip. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go tomorrow. Please excuse me. I'll call you back later. Oh, Mom, tell me. How could this happen to you? Wait. My heart is aching for you, Lisa. What do they say? Well, it's an allegory. No need to turn it into a diagnosis. You see, you know such fancy words. And you've doubted your education. <sighs> Mom, let's not talk about that for now. All you have to do is rest. And the doctor told you not to worry. Lisa, I will just stop worrying if you will decide to leave that godforsaken school. But how can I do that? It's easy. Don't go to confirm your diploma and that's it. Problem solved. Will you still go? Tell me you won't go. <sighs> just say you won't go there. I will not go there. Excuse me, doctor. I need to ask something. Uh, please don't think that I doubt your diagnosis earlier. But are you sure my mom's condition is bad? So what are you implying? Of course I understand that she has a weak heart and all. But is it necessary for me to give up work just to look after her? From a physical perspective, of course I can say your mother can take care of herself. But see, she's having a real hard time enduring your constant absence at home. But I simply cannot- Well, listen to me. If you can't do it, it's entirely up to you. My question to you right now is how dear your mother is to you. Doctor, thank you for talking to my daughter. I heard you both. I should remind you that your situation's not that bad. And I think you don't need your daughter at your side 24-7. But doctor, you don't know what kind of work she has. Honestly, I'm concerned for every pupil as much as she is. Now that's a huge problem. It's so dangerous for your health. So my advice to you as your doctor is to distract yourself. Maybe play some sports, do some light exercise, or explore the internet. What kind of sports? What kind of routines? You know better than me that my blood pressure goes up and down. It's like a yo-yo. 200 in the morning, 90 during the day, and 200 in the evening. And you want me to run. Right. You must manage your blood pressure. Here. Here's a prescription. Take it three times a day. But I took that already. It's a bandage on a wooden leg. Give me something stronger than that. Well, let's try this one out. It's new technology. But it's quite expensive. I have to orient you. It's not available in Krasnokalms. You'll have to order from Moscow. So what? Will it help? Of course, I insist. I beg you. You have to... at least do some cardio. My daughter is the only cardio I need. Miss Lisa, oh, are you back for us? Thank you so much. Hey, Miss Lisa, you're good? You're good? Uh, oh, guys, Lisa, I really wish I, I could. Book, and I didn't understand anything about this writing. So nothing at all. We were supported without you, Miss Lisa. I miss you too, guys. I really do. I miss teaching every one of you. Happy to welcome you back, Miss Lisa Andreevna. Everyone, what is the noise all about? Come on, go back to your classrooms and get ready. You have classes to attend to. I hope you brought me your new diploma. Not yet. I have come to write a letter of resignation. I understand. Can you catch me? I thought you won't be back here until your mom is feeling better. 
I plan not to be back at all. Honestly, I wanted to submit a letter of voluntary resignation. But the principal says if the diploma is fake, there is no need to submit anything. First, they'll fire me, as set forth by the law. And then put me in prison, too. <laughs> I dislike the principal even more now. Yes, I don't like him either. But it's okay, I'll just go to the institute. I'll renew my diploma and make sure to... to have a graceful exit. No. I believe you shouldn't quit right now. We should continue to irritate that crazy man. <laughs> and I'll be helping you with that. Just come back sooner, because it's harder to do it alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, Lisa, you heard me right. They said that if I'll be well taken care of, they could discharge me tomorrow. Well, Mom, it is such wonderful news to hear from you. Let me come to get you tomorrow morning. Please just wait for me. What about today? Won't you visit me? Um... I'll visit you today. Maybe later in the evening. I can't right now. I have a little headache. Well, I don't really know. I think the weather is changing. The weather is changing? What part is aching? Is it the back of your head? Mom, there's pain in my temples. I'm sure it must be the weather. All right. Take a pill right now. I worry so much about you. Don't forget to call me. Please, Mom, don't worry so much about me. I won't forget to drink the pill, rest in bed, and come to visit you in the evening, all right? Uh-huh, all right then. All right, Mom. I love you so much. Take care. Goodbye. See you. Man, Goodbye. I think we're near. Going to Kotrovsky Pedagogical Institute. Search for it. Miss Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Oleg. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm having a bit of trouble remembering the place that I'm going to, and it's a shame that I can't find the Pedagogical Institute. Lisa, please, just be casual. Maybe I am Mr. Oleg in our school, but right here I suggest we chat like ordinary people. <laughs> you can just call me Oleg. All right. Would you mind helping me find the Institute? Um... Will you please help me? I'm sure I can. Show me the address. Actually, I've learned my way around while I was on the city tour. So what kind of tour? Let's go, I'll tell you on the way. Come follow me. <laughs> that was my favorite spot. Let's visit it later. I'll oh, be Thanks. careful. It's the same with the people. I learned that sometimes small people become mature enough after a very traumatic experience. Well, here's your alma mater. Do you remember? We don't have a Lisa Kovalskaya. It must be because you're searching for the diploma number. Perhaps when they entered it into the system, they made some kind of error. What do you expect me to do? Well, you can let us see the archives and we'll find it ourselves. All right, follow me. Hello, Mom. What is it? Yes. Well, it's better, but not perfect. How are you? What did the doctor say? All right, then. Yes, I'm fine. I'm doing better. Exactly. See you tonight. See you. Bye. Kisses. 
Sorry about that. It's just my mom worrying about me. How many places are there left where my folder may be? I've dug through everything. I don't know. Either someone took your documents or... Are you sure you studied here? How come my documents are missing if I did study there? Well, you can't remember for sure. But how is this even possible? My mom told me stories about how I got B grades and was frustrated about it. She said that I used to act in a student's performance group. We even have photographs. So there were some photographs, right? Um, well, yes. I saw those photographs myself. Some of them were printed out, others were stored in a flash drive. But we couldn't find it anywhere. <sighs> Can you drive faster? My mother's waiting for me at the hospital. Hey, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy. We got a punctured tire. As flat as can be. All right, we'll change it. Hello, Mom, it's me. Um, I'm sorry, but can I not come see you tonight? Yes, the headache's still there. No, no. I took the pills. It's all right now. Mm, let me drop by, maybe... tomorrow morning. Uh, tonight I'd rather stay in bed, all right? Yes, I promise I will. We'll get you tomorrow. Yes, all right, bye. Thank you so much, Oleg. If it weren't for you, I would never have found the Institute, let alone make it home on my own. Listen, why don't you bring the photographs from the Institute? We will scan them and attach them to a letter to the Ministry. Are you saying I should write to the Ministry of Education? <sighs> what else can we do? Better bring everything. Maybe you'll find something else. Your student's record book or notes. <laughs> I don't have notes. I have a magna cum laude diploma. Well, maybe you could come up and take a look at the photographs. Don't offer any tea. I only drink coffee. <laughs> well, let's go to the kitchen. How about a Turkish coffee? Sounds good. This is not how I imagined your home. Right. Here, can you grind it yourself? It's just that none of us drink coffee. <laughs> sure, I got this. The best barista in Norway taught me how to grind coffee. Do you like it strong? After the accident, I can't drink coffee anymore. Oh, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me scan them at home and bring them back to you. Uh -huh. Put them in my bag, please. Hey, Mom. Please, can you just forgive me? He's Oleg, and I only work with him in school. 
He just dropped by for 10 minutes. I don't care if he dropped by for 10 minutes. There's no place for me here at all. Don't worry, I'll be gone soon. Please, Mom, stop saying this nonsense. You could have simply told me that. Mother, I have a man in the house. I'm not going to visit you at the hospital. But you pretended to have a headache. And I believed you. I thought that m maybe you had a, a spasm or an, an aneurysm, a relapse. I, I pictured every horrible outcome while I was running to you here from the hospital. Mom. And you were just having fun. <laughs> Mom, he just dropped by for five minutes. He gave me a ride and then we decided to have some coffee. That's it. So he gave you a ride? Yes, I went to the institute to get the papers. I went there by bus and he gave me a ride home. This means you lied to me again. Mom... Mom, I didn't mean to. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's really important to me. I cannot even officially resign without that document. <laughs> Did they find your diploma? Mm -mm. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh, my poor little girl. You just had to deal with some inept administrators. Do you know hmm? how many of those are there at the hospital? Oh, yes. I had to double check everything. Each prescription, each request, each referral, 20 times to make sure. They kept putting the wrong stamp or mixing up letters. Lisa. Hmm? Come on, Lisa. We'll get through this. Mm -hmm. You are a true teacher, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Five years of studies. Mm-hmm. I'll come with you to get it. I'll tear that diploma from them with my own teeth. Let me just get better. And we'll go, all right? Thank you. Look, don't try to memorize everything. You have to know two or three topics and steer all of your answers towards those topics. That's the key to passing. <laughs> sure. Big talk from the academic star. You better tell us, how do you put the textbook under your pillow? Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> and how you waved your record book out the window at night for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us how it's going at Newsbox. Are you just a coffee girl, or do they give you real work? Tomorrow, I am going to interview the Moscow Chief of Emercom, all by myself! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> nice. wow. Look at this. Uh, here's our lesson plan till the end of the month for ninth graders. Uh -huh. Here too. These are methodology recommendations. And here we have extracurricular reading for fifth graders. Take it. Lisa, please don't think that it was my idea. The principal asked to fill in for you until you come back. Well, what's left? The academic year is ending soon. Well, take all her papers all you want. Lisa is not coming to that school again. <clears throat> oh. Looks hard on the first try. <laughs> I need to consult you personally. Don't sweat it, you just read it. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Seriously, I'll drown if you don't help me out. Or do you want me to fail in front of the kids? Mm. All right, come on in, I'll help you. Not here. The atmosphere here is depressing, sorry. Mm, right. Okay, meet me in one hour. I'll try to break free from this place. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, the library is a whole kilometer away, minimum. We're not going to the library. Uh, there's a cafe nearby. <laughs> Better. There's a beach. We agreed to discuss work, remember? Well, judging by my experience in Goa, 
Working at the beach is way more efficient. Hmm. I mustn't swim. Why not? Do you have rabies? Oh, get lost. Oh, I get it. Your mother won't let you. <laughs> <laughs> not really. It's just that, after the accident, I can have a seizure attack any time in any place. I don't even close the door to the bathroom. Mom is afraid I might drown while I'm inside. <laughs> well, don't be afraid. I am a good swimmer. And you don't have to worry. I will be watching you without blinking. Here, take this. I hope I guess the size right. Listen, all this a monument to myself stuff, do you think the kids will be interested? Hmm. Well, it was interesting to you when you were at school, or you wouldn't have majored in literature. It was for me, but those kids are totally different from us. They only study geography to relocate. Oh, come on, they're good kids. You just don't know them yet. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I hope it'll get better over time, because it can't get any worse. I got myself in a pickle. You know, someone tripped up in Simonov. Mm -hmm. He fell down the stairs. Mm. From top to bottom. I feel bad for him. You know, they could have caught him at the top. And Lopatin was standing near him. But instead of helping him, he whipped out his phone and started filming him. Well, that's what they do these days. I gave up fighting it. So I took his phone and I told him... Mm. I'd only give it back to his parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I still have the phone with me. And his parents are not coming for it. Then yesterday I saw Lopatin with a new phone. Mm. Honestly, I'm at a loss to what to do next. Mm, you need to call the parents or else... Who knows what allegations they'd come up with. <laughs> I must say, the sun is out. All right, let's talk about Turgenev. All right. <clears throat> Would you mind if I shoved him from the main course to additional reading? Mm -mm. Wow, did you have a C-section? Oh. No, this is a scar left after the accident. Oh. I'm sorry, it's just that my mother had the same, so I thought... It's nothing. I think I may go for a swim. How about you? Are you coming? I'm coming with you. How's the water? I guess it's all right. Are you okay? Lisa! 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 Easy. Easy now. It's all right. Breathe. Come on. You're fine. We're almost there. There, it's all right. You're going to be fine. Just breathe. That's better. Hey, take it easy. All right? You're fine. Come on. Come here. Oh, wow, are those dumplings, Mom? Aren't you the sweetest on Earth? I was checking essays on Lermontov while you were making them. So now I associate them with Lermontov. A lonely sail is flashing white amidst the blue mist of the sea. Mmm. <laughs> so good. How was your study group? Mmm, I must say it went rather well. I gave him my notes, made some marks, explained everything so I won't drown on the lesson plan. He won't drown. You did study at the library, though. Or are you lying to me again? You're quite good at lying to me.
I come in? Why are you treating me like an enemy, my dear? Lisa. You are everything to me. I only live for you. If anything should happen to you, what would I do, huh? Lisa, I'd die. I won't be able to endure a second tragedy. It'll be the death of me. <laughs> Lisa. I've never lied to you. I'm not hiding anything from you. I've always taught you to be open and honest to other people. Oh yes, you can't remember any of it. After that cursed accident. Mom, please forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> oh dear, you're a good girl, all right? You're my sweet, loving yes. daughter. You just got a little confused, but you'll be fine. Yes. I'm glad we had this conversation. Please forgive me. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed, Lisa. Tomorrow will be a new day for you. Hello? Hi there. Oleg. Yes. Did I wake you up? <clears throat> no, it's okay. Did something happen? Nothing in particular. Listen, I looked at the pictures you gave me yesterday. Mm. I don't know how to send them to the ministry. Those photos are... Oleg, enough. Let's wrap this up because I'm sure that I'm not going to recover my diploma. I'll just leave the school and that's it. That's it? What about the liability for counterfeiting? Oleg, my mother is ill. I must take care of her. Is your mom there? You can't talk, right? Yes, bye. Mm. You're up already? Good morning, sunshine. How about some hot crepe? Mm -hmm. With some strawberry jam. <laughs> Lisa? Are you pregnant? No, Mom, no way. Why are you suddenly interested in C-sections? It's just that... I have the same scar as they do. <sighs> Lisa... You know that after the accident, they had to stitch you back together. They took your insides out, and then put them back in proper order. And you expect not to have any scar? They look the same. Yes. It looks like all the other scars after abdominal surgery. You have a vivid imagination. Oh, well. Anyway, here, eat your crepe. Mom, how did it happen? How come this whole time I have never been regularly monitored by a gastroenterologist or a gynecologist? Mm. And the uh, only ones treating such severe aftermath of an accident were neurologists, huh, Mom? Listen, my dear. Someone needs to take their mind off their obsession or do something else. Mom, I've never had a stomach issue this whole time, so what is it? Of course you didn't, dear. You've had some good doctors. Right, go to the store now and fetch some milk. And some sausage. I like veal. All right. Oleg, hi there. It's a good thing that I met you here. You couldn't talk in the morning, right? I'm sorry, my mother doesn't know about the criminal liability, and if she hears about it, I can't even think of what will happen. Well, then I have another piece of news that she wouldn't like. All the photos you sent to me had been edited rather well. But it simply cannot be. I couldn't believe it myself, but you have to see this. We can take a look, my place is not far. Well, let's go. Come on. Mm hmm.
Good afternoon. Hello there. Good afternoon, my dears. Hi there, Gran. Oleg, dear, don't forget to offer slippers to your guests. Goes without saying. Here, put them on. Thank you. Please come in. Is she really your grandmother? You thought I was lying? Have a seat. Well, this is our graduation at the Institute. Uh-huh. Now try to find yourself here. You see? This here is the original photo. I found it on one of the other graduates' profiles. And this is the Photoshop photo. Look closer. They inserted you clumsily. <clears throat> Lisa, I called you 12 times already. 12 times? Why is it so hard to pick up the phone? The store is five minutes away. You have been away for an hour. Where have you been? Mom, did I really study at that institute or not? I don't understand. Neither do I, Mom. The photographs from my graduation are photoshopped. Maybe I was not there. Maybe my diploma is truly fake. What are you saying? Tell me, have I ever lied to you? I don't know, Mom. Lisa, what photo editing? Who told you that? That Oleg? What does he know? And how, how could I have done such a thing if I don't even know how to use a computer? What are you accusing me of, Lisa? I can't remember my life before the accident. Be honest, you didn't tell me everything. Well, what do you want me to say? What is out there that I haven't told you? <sighs> Mother! <laughs> Hi there! She doesn't know, right? Why, you didn't tell her? I'm Marina. I'm your younger sister. Uh-huh. So they removed the sofa, right? Oh well, we'll put up a folding bed. Hmm. And this used to be our room. Yes. Don't you remember? No. Oh. And this is where I used to hide my bad report cards. <laughs> you knew about it but kept it a secret. You're a good sister. You were so quiet. I loved it. Thank you. What about you? Do you give students bad grades? Well, a bad grade as a mark against the teacher means you're not doing your job right. Oh, you were always like this. And what about your personal life? You must have guys swarming you. Mm -hmm. What, no one? Come on. What about the jerk who got you into the car accident? What happened to him? Oh. Well, yeah. Men are like that. <laughs> and what is it that you do, Marina? Me? Oh. I did this and that. Want some chocolate? No, thank you. Well, that's a first. You liked it ten years ago. And twenty years ago, we used to fight over ice cream. Marina, um, why are there no photos with us together in our home? Uh, why? Mom got rid of them, probably. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. She kept one for herself, of the good sister. That's you. That doesn't sound like her. Well, how else will you explain it? 
I don't know. You really don't remember anything about me? Let's go to a restaurant today. So this is your lover. Nice to meet you. Wait, wait. I'm going, but... Well... There are some kinds... of flashes, but it's like you're... It's like you're my rival. Instead of being a sister. <laughs> That's some kind of memory that you've got. Incredible. So you don't remember the ice cream. But when it comes to a guy, even accidents can't erase it. What do you mean? Mm, the usual stuff between sisters. Two of us, and just one guy. Uh, he chose me. And you didn't speak to me for six months after that. Lisa, hmm? it's time for you to go. Where? What do you mean, where? To the neurologist. I made an appointment for you a week ago. I told you this. No, you didn't. Of course I did. Remember, you started having problems at work, so I made you an appointment. These stressful things have always ended with a neurologist. I decided not to wait this time, so I made an appointment just to be on the safe side. Come on, Lisa, you're going to be late. You have your appointment in 40 minutes. I'll go with you. But mom, what will I tell him? I don't even have a headache. Do you understand me? <laughs> you can tell him. You can't sleep. And when you do, you have these nightmares, these horrible things. And, well, you always have something to tell the neurologist. You're his favorite patient, okay? <laughs> go now, so you won't be late. I'm ready. Come on, let's go. You can also show me the town. It's been so long. <sighs> Memory map. There used to be an ice cream stand here on that corner. Remember? No. You don't? Mm -mm. You used to make me beg passersby for pocket change. Mom almost <laughs> killed us. Me? Pocket change? Yeah. You were good at it. Don't act all innocent. <laughs> and here we used to go folk dancing. Remember? Mm-mm. It's strange. I passed by this place so many times and felt nothing. Oh, come on. Hmm. What about the children's hospital? Wait a minute. I was in a hospital? No, I was. And you and mom used to bring me treats. I promise you. Oh. Sure about that, huh? Tell me something else you remember. What else can I tell you? There's a park across the road there. Central Park. Yeah. We used to ride the Ferris wheel all the time. If we got good grades. Or if we saved our allowance. Can you tell me which school did I go to? Actually, where I work now, they don't remember me. Well, it's because we went to a different one. On Garden Street. Oh, and we used to play football in the field over here. We played football? You don't remember? <laughs> I was a goalie. Actually, I was the best goalie ever. Better than the boys. <laughs> what about me? You? Well, you were always the quiet one. You didn't like running much. You'd always wait for me behind that fence. Let's go, they're warming up already. I won't go. You forgot knee pads. You mean you forgot them? You're a big boy now, you should remember to bring them, do you understand? Come on, they'll find some kind of pads for you. I don't want just any knee pads. I need mine, I play better with them. I need mine. I play better with them. Lisa? 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 <laughs> Everything all right? Sorry. It's just that I have some kind of constant visions lately. One where I had a son and another where I was the one driving in that accident. So mom was right to make an appointment with the neurologist. 
Yeah, sure. He'll just prescribe me with a bunch of pills again. I'll end up sleeping day and night. Well, if that's what it takes... When I worked at school, I used to get so tired, I slept without any dreams. So it's better than any pills, believe me. Something was wrong with your diploma. Mom told me. Yeah, I'll get that sorted out. But I'm not going back to school. Mom needs someone to look after her. Hmm, right. That's our mom. Needs all kinds of things. How about yourself? If your health depends on you working, how can she talk you out of it? Want some nuts? I'm allergic to peanuts. You remember everything but not this? <sighs> um, it just slipped my mind. Anyway, if the school's good for you, you can go back. What do you think? That's easier said than done. They all went ballistic over my diploma, said I faked it. I have no idea what to do. I just really want to get this over with. Well, first of all, I suggest you forget about the neurologist <laughs> and live your life how you want. As for the <laughs> diploma, I'll take care of it. You may have forgotten, but I am your sister. And sisters help each other out, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So what did the doctor say? You know, the usual. Same pills, same dosage. More walking, more sleep, more exercise. He recommended she return to work as soon as possible. When she works, all her internal processes get in order. Her anxiety goes away and her... Well, her sleep, it improves. That's what he said? Yes, exactly. Did you actually go to the doctor? Why did you go with her in the first place? To see the doctor, right? What did the two of you do instead? But she really does need that school. Her visions disappear. She sleeps like a log. All she thinks about is checking homework. What's wrong with that? The problem is that everyone and their dog is saying her diploma is fake. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. I'll take care of it tomorrow. Mm. The important thing is her well-being. If she's well, then everyone is well. That's all. Mmm. Thanks, little sister. Don't mention it. You know... I've heard... you and Mom talking. Just a little bit, by accident. Thank you for defending me. Of course. A person should be free. If you want to go to work, then work. It's better than filling your head with nonsense. Hm. Marina, what if it's not nonsense? I just don't understand anything anymore. It's all very strange, these coincidences. I couldn't recognize anything, I can't remember anything. This really troubles me. You didn't recognize me either. Your memory is shot. And the scar? Don't you think it looks like a cesarean section? And on top of that, I keep seeing that boy all the time. I think he's my son. Why do you assume your scar is from a C-section? Someone asked me at the beach. <sighs> and those photos from the prom, they can't... They can't be real. What? From university? That doesn't sound right. It's just that... Oleg found a photograph from the prom and there's some other girl there instead of me. Maybe that girl edited herself in or Oleg did. It's none of his business. It doesn't matter anyway. He just wanted to help me. Well, he did a great job. You had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Didn't they tell him that you have to be a little bit more delicate with people? He went to writer's college. Even better. Fantasies, conceit, 10 out of 10. And zero subtlety. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, that is poets for you. <laughs> well, he isn't that good with children, but he's great at telling stories and such. Mm -hmm. He confiscated a phone from a boy and even called his parents. The parents didn't come and the kid has a new phone. Could you believe that? 
<laughs> Excellent. I propose we see how he resolves this situation, and then rely on his opinions or advice. <sighs> Can we turn the light off? Yeah. Good morning. Well, <laughs> breakfast and then to school? Why? I've been there already and took care of everything. Did you know a great bakery opened across the street from you? Look at these. They're croissants. And this is from the principal. He wished you luck at the new school. <sighs> Unbelievable. Does this mean he changed his mind about suing me? Well... He agreed with me that your diploma may, in fact, not be fake after all. That anyone can make a mistake, enter the wrong numbers. And that your school is in need of remodeling. And that my modest donation will be very helpful. Wait, you bribed him? I've been really busy this morning. I even asked around about the school next door. Turns out they also need language teachers. Yes, we're quite in demand. <laughs> Actually, it's a good thing Oleg stayed in that school. He can become a very good language teacher. Perhaps even a better one than me. A good teacher? Won't be scrounging notes off you. He'd write his own. Actually, the principal told me that Oleg was gunning for your position from the very start. Guess he got what he wanted. It's just a coincidence, that's all. Wow. What a lucky coincidence. So he arrives at your school... He sees the position is filled. He finds out that you're seeing a neurologist, so he rocks the boat on the sly. That's real clever of him, huh? What a creep. He could have gone to a different school. This one is nearest to his home, so it's important for him. He takes care of his grandmother. Yeah, yeah. The principal told me everything. So harbor no illusions about Oleg. We'll find suitors for you elsewhere, my dear little sister. Well, did you bring the stuff from my locker? What locker? There's only a sweater and a couple of books there. Can't you manage without them? I think I'll go to school anyway. Thanks for the breakfast. <laughs> what? Oh, good afternoon, Lisa. Good afternoon, Principal. You know we're going to miss you. Ah, <sighs> well, I'm sure your newly renovated class will cheer you up when I'm gone. I hope the money is enough. And I'm hoping that the errors in your diploma get sorted out soon. Don't worry about it, Principal. I'll be working in another school, and then bring them up to be your competition. I hope you only took your personal belongings. Uh, I'll leave those things to you, to remind you of me. Did you buy them yourself? I embroidered them. So long, Principal. Thank you. Goodbye. See you later. Oleg. Oleg. Oleg, 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 wait. Where are you going? Out for a walk. Thank you so much for leaving my notes. I took everything. Yeah, I also provided you access to a certain folder. There's a letter waiting for you there. All right. I have quit my job. I see. Is something wrong? Oleg? I've been an idiot again. 
I really shouldn't tell things to people and get in trouble for that. You know, the parents of that kid believe I stole their son's cell phone. Mm. They're coming to discuss it today. I feel for you. Well, it would be easier if you hadn't told everyone that I took it. Or did you do it on purpose? <laughs> did you see me as a rival? Well, if this is going to be a scandal, you know that the both of us will be out of here real soon. So why did you do it? Wait, but I... I only... Mention it to my sister, that's it. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you into trouble. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Hurry up! Wait for me! We're going to be late! Hey, your shoelaces are untied. Yeah, catch up! Can you smell it? It's real couscous. I bought the spices from Tunisia. Marina, why did you tell the principal that Oleg took the boy's phone? Well, someone had to. I only told you for conversation's sake, not to get him harassed. Look, it's not harassment. They should call his parents and the police. Find out why a teacher has a child's phone in his possession and is being silent. Lisa, you're always too trusting, and I always come to your rescue. It hurts that you don't remember this at all, you know. I don't think I needed to be rescued from Oleg. Hmm? Oh. You have to. Admit that he acted suspiciously. Don't tell me he doesn't have much experience working in school. I have zero experience. But somehow I know you shouldn't take other people's things. You understand, but he doesn't. Something is wrong here. Don't you agree with me? So go on. Try this. <laughs> Mm. Is it good? Mm. Incredible. <laughs> because it's authentic. <laughs> Hi. I ran your edited photo through a search engine and found out where it was cropped from. It's a photo of journalism graduates. Now, if you look closely, you will see yourself there. But of course, that person isn't you. I don't know if it's your doppelganger or twin sister or whatever. I really don't know. Anyway, this graduate's name is not Lisa Kovalsky, as it turns out. Her name is Alice Landin. Alice Landin. You sure can sleep. I already got home from my jog. I thought if the sunlight didn't wake you, I'd start vacuuming. Good morning. You got plans today? I'm going to school. Why are you going there today? Mm. Oh, no, this is stupid. I'll just talk to the principal and tell him that Oleg didn't know how to handle himself. That's why all this happened. Why are you doing that? Because we all deserve a second chance, Marina. I still don't understand. He tried to undermine you. What? I just remembered. Um, I also forgot my shoes at school, so I'll have to go anyway. What were you reading last night? I came in and you were dozing off into the computer. I want to open a book and fall asleep like that, too. It's just my digital notes, that's all. Oh, you're up. That's great. There's porridge for breakfast. I'll eat on the way, Mom. It's already late. I'm sorry. Where are you going? To go to a class field trip, didn't I tell you? We made plans uh, about a month ago. Oh, but you're not. You're not their teacher anymore, right? I'm not the one in charge. Larissa is with them, and I'll join them. The kids saw me recently and asked me to go with them. That's incredible. Even children can get you to do anything. Well, see you in the evening.
Excuse me. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Um, can you tell me where the... where the embankment is? The embankment? Yes, you're right, the embankment, yes, yes. <laughs> well, okay, look. You... you go out on the road. Mm -hmm. Go to your left until the crossing. Mm -hmm. Then turn right and there it is. You got that? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Don't you remember me? Your ID, please. Sure, here it is. Where are you going? Um, Dean's office. Be when you lift it. Oh, man. Okay. Faster. Please go in. Drag it now. Thank you. Listen, I can't give you someone else's diploma. Think about but it. But look at the photograph. It's me. Okay, then. If I look like Mona Lisa, should they display me in a museum? All right, uh, what if I change my name and my surname? Will that suffice? Well, then I need to see documented proof of your name change. Barbs, are you planning to change your beautiful name? Now tell me, who'd be interested in a class like this on mass media in totalitarian countries? Me. I would certainly enroll. Well, thank you, but I'm afraid that you are going to be the only one there. <laughs> Oh, come on. What are you, a coward? Just give it a mm -hmm. try. Post a call. Do it. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I'll... I'll owe you a chocolate bar. Two. Three. Make it four. <laughs> <clears throat> Barbara, here are the students' records books. I passed them all. That's excellent. And will the rest come on Wednesday, then? Thursday. Please excuse me. Um, would you happen to remember me by any chance? No. Should I? Alice Landon? Uh, Lisa Kovalskaya? Well, it seems like you're used to changing your name. Uh, yeah, sorry. Probably. Excuse me, I gotta go. I'll see you later. It's that security guard. Last time he allowed a frying pan seller in. I wonder why they haven't fired him. Tell me about it. Well, I'll bring the rest on Thursday. Excuse me, Alyssa. Huh? Or is it Alice? I just remember that Alice London was enrolled in one of our parallel courses. Did Alice look like me? I don't think so, but if you're interested, I can tell you a few things about her. Uh, not that we were close, but we were part of the same crowd, mm -hmm. you understand? I have one more lecture today. How about we meet in two hours by the statue? Great, I'll see you in two hours then. Thank you. Actually, you can wait for me in the cafe, right outside the main entrance. It's a nice place and more pleasant. I'll see you then. Thank you. Here's our menu, ma'am. Thank you. Can I have milk tea, please? Certainly. Thank you. Okay. 
search for Alice Landon. Yes, that is what the new apartment complex will be called. So you're saying all that remains from the old park is the name, right? Are you telling me that you have all the permits? We wouldn't be building here otherwise. And how much did the permission to build on a historical heritage site cost? Well, don't ask me. Here's your order. Mm -hmm. Please enjoy. So you're saying that the Historical Heritage Commission, within its standard framework, failed to recognize a 300-year-old park as a historical conversion site? Can you tell me the names of the people who put their signatures on that document? Excuse me, here's your bill. Yes, just a second. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Lisa! Do you have any idea what you're doing? What if Mom finds out you went to the Capitol alone? Do you want her to end up in a hospital? How did you find me? Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go! Listen, if Mom has a heart attack, it's going to be your fault, got it? Just wait a minute. You have to tell us this in advance. You have to prepare Mom. You only care about yourself. I didn't go to the movies. I went to Moscow to look for you. We have to stop by the pharmacy. What do you need from the pharmacy? You really only think about yourself, huh? You know mom's medicine is only sold here in the capital. But don't we order them online? We'll buy some now and order more online. What's wrong with an extra pack? We could have just taken the train, you know. And... And get back home at 1 a.m.? I already don't know what to tell Mom. Before anything else, Marina, how did you find me? <sighs> because your card is connected to Mom's mobile bank. It sent an SMS that you're at a cafe near the university. I'm glad I saw it first, so I deleted it, and I went looking for you. But I already left. It's not far, it's right around the corner. I see. So did you find... what you were looking for? I don't know. Probably not. Listen, Marina, almost every night lately I dream that I am Alice Landon, a journalist. Yeah, I remember. You were reading that blog when I lived with you. What if I am her? <laughs> Maybe we should see that neurologist, Lisa. Maybe Mom is right about him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Who's there to see you so late? Huh. It's for you. For me? Hi. 
Uh, good evening. Come in, come in. Don't just stand there. <sighs> An unexpected sight. Uh, come inside. Thank you. Oh, well then. I'm sorry for the late visit and, and that everything turned out the way it did. I really didn't mean to tell my sister about the phone story. Uh, Lisa, it's 1 a.m. You came here just to apologize? No. I need your help, Oleg. I need your clear perspective right now. And I swear that if you think I'm losing my mind and I need help, then I'm going straight to a psychiatrist. Take a seat. Thank you. So let's have it. Well, I visited the journalism department today. Uh -huh. And I found it without any map. It was all so familiar to me. I even knew my way around the subway. But it's not even that. The thing is... My sister came to find me in the capital. She told me she saw an SMS on mom's phone that I was sitting in a cafe nearby. But I was in a different place altogether. Do you understand that? You see where I'm getting at? Mm, honestly, not yet. But can I see your phone, though? It's just that, even if she had received an SMS from the bank, it would have been from another location. That's what I find weird. I wasn't even there. Uh, and all of a sudden, she suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Did anyone else know you were there? Mm, well... A security guard who checked my ID... Mm, a secretary who basically told me to get lost, and also a professor who said he knew a bit about the girl Alice Landon. It was him I was supposed to meet earlier, but instead Marina came. I see. Here you are. I didn't find any kind of spyware in it. Even no mobile bank looks like someone ratted you out to Marina. My bet is the professor. But how can they know each other? Clearly, there are more questions than answers. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Firstly, I don't drink coffee, I told you. Oh, right. And secondly, I think I'll just go home to get some sleep. Because lately, my dreams are very interesting. I recently remembered that Alice was conducting an investigation and that apparently there was some real bad blood between your father and her or me. Yes. As it turns out, she was a real thorn in his side at one time. Or you were. Although, I once went to one of Dad's press conferences, quite mm -hmm. by accident. So I could have seen you, or Alice, while I was there. Could or did? Let me put it this way. You now and Alice then look absolutely nothing alike. But it doesn't mean that you two are different. You know, it's strange that... What? That you're the son of that developer, and we just happened to meet here. Wait a minute, are you accusing me? No, no, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just trying to find some kind of logic here, because all of this doesn't make sense to me at all. The question is, who am I? And that's the problem. Maybe there is another way that I can help you out. I remember clearly how happy my dad was when Alice got arrested and had to spend an entire night in jail. I don't recall what for exactly, a protest or something. And how can this help me? If she was arrested, then her fingerprints should still be in the police database. And I have a friend who is a policeman. So let's send him your fingerprints then. We'll compare them, and then <laughs> we'll know for sure. Wait a minute, you know how to take fingerprints? Don't you know how to? No. You do, we've done it when we were kids. You just forgot. Here, wait a sec. Hold on. <laughs> Give me your finger. Mm hmm. Press it harder. Squeeze real hard. And let go. There. Good. Mm. 
One, two, three. It's done. Good. That's it. Now we wait until morning and we'll know who you are. Does the internet sleep during the night? I don't know, but my friend does. He'll check it in the morning. So, sorry, can I make you a bed here? No, I'm going home. Because there'll be a scandal if they find out I spend the night somewhere else. How old are you? No idea. I'm not sure of anything anymore. Now let's give the floor to our investors. Excuse me, but you didn't answer my question. The apartment complex is being built on historical land. Do you intend to destroy historical sites? I've already answered your question. There is nothing there except sick trees that would have been used for firewood in any case. Unfortunately, the previous owners failed to take care of the park properly. But you're going to take care of it in a radical way. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, next question, please. What about the 7th century grotto? What about the underground tunnels? You don't care, do you? You'll be ramming piles directly into the historical part. They made their conclusions. It's all flooded down there. Seriously? Even this? Lisa? Hmm? You alright? Uh, yes, a colleague has just been telling me how my students did at the exams. <sighs> the fingerprints have matched. You are Alice Landin, a journalist. <sighs> okay. Do you want to know the truth? Come on. Your mom and I have something to tell you. That's right. You are Alice Landon, that journalist from the blog. Mm -hmm. Why am I here then? And why do you call me Lisa? Mm, there's a reason for it. You caused a lot of trouble for that developer, the TVIL company. They decided to eliminate you. They arranged the accident. Why didn't you tell me this from the start? And then what? You would just sit there? You teach at school, right? I know you'd look for revenge right away. You fight windmills, so we decided it would be better. If you never found out about your past, it's much safer that way. Safer for you and for us. Isn't that right, Mom? Did I have a family? A son and a husband. Yes, the scar is a C-section. Where are they? I want to see them. They were killed in the accident. You were the only survivor. Interfering in my affairs is very unwise, remember that. 
I recorded everything. Mm. Okay. Let's assume it's true. But how is Oleg involved in this? We'd like to know that too. Looks like his father sent him. He found out that Alice is alive and started searching for her. He acts normal enough. Why wouldn't he? He found you. Daddy's guys will do the rest. Lisa, they are still looking for you. They're afraid of you. How about you start calling me Alice already? Hmm? If I'm Alice, then who are you? And why are you doing all this for me? Did you think Alice didn't have relatives? We're your mother and sister. Life is normal here. When you lost your memory, we decided to move here. We left everything in the capital to save you. Yes, it's true. We did everything in our power. So stop looking for trouble at every corner. Next time, you might not be as lucky. What was my son's name? His name was Yegor. Your son and your husband, they died just because you couldn't contain your thirst for every adventure you have. So how about this time you don't put yourself in harm's way? How's that sound? If Oleg is here, and... and he knows who I am, then we have to leave. Immediately. Well... Looks like you do have good ideas, hmm? All right, let's go. Wait, I forgot my laptop charger. I'll be back in a minute. Just wait for me here. We'll wait in the car. Let me go! Oh, don't scream. I know everything about you. Your father sent you to find me. Have you lost your mind? It's been five years. Let me go already. Just let me be. Did your mom and Marina get to you? Yes, you're right. I also had a husband and a son. You and your father killed them. Come to your senses. Alice didn't have a sister or a mother. Here. I found Alice's old account earlier. She wrote about a lot of things, but she never mentioned anything about a sister. That doesn't mean she didn't have one. Look. This is her last post. My mommy died yesterday. Alice. Lisa. Don't you realize that you're surrounded by strangers who for some reason are pretending to be your loved ones? Okay, new life in paradise. What was that? I said that it was nice. Well, of course it's been better. It's the best I could do finding a house in two hours. For transients. Do we have a plan? We have a goal. To throw Oleg off, lose him completely. And to find out what they want from me. Oh, we don't need to know. We know they're up to no good. We'll move to another region. We'll start a new life, and we'll forget Oleg like a bad dream. We'll plan first, then we'll move. But for now, we will stay in the country. Like a retreat. Oh, Mom, it's not just a ficus, but a whole garden, like you wanted. Mom liked gardening? Of course. When she was taking care of you, she buried all her talents, and now she can catch up. Oh, but look how badly neglected it is now. It's painful to look at.
memory map. The number you have dialed. He hasn't answered the entire day. What did I do wrong again that he can't bear to call? Has something happened? Mm hmm. Only one thing can happen to my dad. He's once again disappointed in me. The number you have dialed is switched off for out. I'm worried about him. And he isn't. When once in a blue moon we need help, he shows his true character. Damn. We should have brought more dishes from home. Here's one more plate with a chip. It's below us in bad fortune to eat from chip tableware. Lisa! Huh? Take the plate into the house. Put it somewhere out of sight. Wait. Maybe you could already call me Alice, since that's my name after all. <clears throat> we can't be sure about that. I put it in a cupboard. Very well. Mom? How did you manage to get used to it? It turns out you gave birth to Alice, brought up Alice too, and then you... started calling me Lisa. Hmm, how else? I just got used to it. Mom always wanted a Lisa. She told Dad to register you as Elizabeth. But when he went to the registration office... He seemed to have changed his mind that day and returned with a surprise. He said let her be an Alice, like from Guest from the Future. We used to call you Lisa before. Alice, Lisa. They sounded similar enough. Come on now. Wash the windows. And Marina, we'll mop the floors. Fine. Excuse me? Was this place abandoned or what? Nah, just dirty. It'll be a home in no time if we clean it good enough. I'm calling it now as a moving expert. It turns out that mom is an expert too. What? Me? Well, you picked me up right after the accident and right into the unknown. Or was someone else living in here? Well, not really, but... <laughs> Listen, under stress you get an adrenaline rush. You can do just about anything. Well, perhaps it's possible to move mountains, but to find an apartment and especially... doctors in a town... Mom? Hmm? Did you... pick me up from the hospital in Moscow? But I vividly remember I was recovering in that small town. You've got a strange memory. You remember that, but not me? And where did you work? Like, how did you manage to drop everything and leave to come to my aid? We sold an apartment there. We needed money for a place of our own in that town. And for rehabilitation, by the way. Well, there was enough for me to buy a ticket to India. That's not what I'm talking about. Uh, we're almost settling our life in that place. And where did you work, Mom? Uh, well... Uh, I was a housewife. Before and after. Mm. Uh... Lisa... Uh, uh, Alice... The windows are dirty on the inside. You need to wash them on that side. All right, then. Excuse me. Do you have the keys to the apartment? Do you think he won't open the door? Yes, I have the keys. It's nonsense, of course, to ask my father just one question. I have to go to Moscow. Listen, it's good that you're even going. I'm worried about your father. Call me when you get there, understand? Granny, I'm going there and back. I'll just find out if Dad's people are still chasing Alice and I'll come back. Your relationship with him is complicated. You always suspect him of doing terrible things. Right. Goodbye. Goodbye.
Marina, let's go. Let's go to the well. We're out of water. That place is infested with snakes. And what shall we do? Die of thirst? I'll call a water delivery service. Mm hmm. Delivery takes time. What do you expect us to do? I'm huh? not afraid of snakes. I'll go with Mom. When did you find out about the snakes? In the morning when you were asleep, we asked the locals. Uh huh. There's a river there, and a forest with raspberries. We can go and pick some up and make some jam. What do you think? Okay. When one's hands are full, Mom doesn't have unnecessary thoughts. Right, Lisa? <laughs> mm -hmm. We can't sew. So let's make some jarred jam. Here. Got it. Come on, come on. Watch out. Mm hmm. Mom, where did we live in the capital then? Where? In an apartment. In which area? It, hmm? it was in the West. And we all lived together, me, you, my husband and son? Well, yes. And Marina? What about Marina? She also lived there. She rented an apartment. Mom, what did she do before leaving? Well, she was going to practice law. I forgot what type. Did the government help pay for her tuition? Not really. We had some money. <laughs> That's amazing. You must have been really wealthy then. Well, we had to sell the apartment. But you said we sold it after the accident, right? Well, yes, after the accident. We sold it and paid off all the debts, including the tuition. Why are you always on about money, Lisa? Uh, Alice! You're alive and kicking, and that's enough. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> alive and kicking. Mom? Where were you when they told you I had gotten into an accident? I was at work. What work? You're a housewife. Look! I found boots in the barn. We can brave the woods now. What are you talking about? Well, different stuff. Help us out. managed to get this imposter mom to talk. In general, she can't really keep secrets. Unlike this Marina, she constantly interrupts us. She's controlling everything, always getting in the way. I need to get rid of her for some time so that I could get mom to talk. I think that I've got an idea. I hope it'll work out. Marina is going to the town to get some pills and I'll stay with mom to get her to talk to me. Time is of the essence in it. It takes about 40 minutes by local train to get to the town. Um, then about 10 minutes, on foot to get to that street, to the pharmacy. To get mom's pills and back. So she certainly won't be here for about two hours or so, I figure. There should be enough time with mom alone between then. Hello? I've got an idea how to help you out. I'll do something to give you more time. Good luck, and keep me informed. I don't know what's gotten into her. Too much information. And what exactly should I do? Is that my fault? I don't feel like discussing whose fault it is. I'm more worried about what to do. Obviously, you should keep quiet. I should keep quiet? She's looking at me in a certain way, and she keeps asking. She's driving me mad. My heart aches every night. In fact, I think I'm going to get a heart attack. Don't worry about it. 
those pills of yours are a money sink. They should help out. Not everything is measured by money, Marina. Not everything. Look who's talking. <laughs> Oleg, any updates? Not from my father. Granny, I need your help. No one can do it better than you. <sighs> so? What are the plans for today? <clears throat> Where are we moving again? Want some tea? I suggest moving abroad, to a place like Goa where it's warm. Right, Marina? You won't like it. Thailand? Arab mm. Emirates? Mm. Oh, girls, my chest is starting to hurt. Oh, that's much better. Oh, these are good pills. They really help me. Marina, I've run out of pills. Already? Well, I don't know. Perhaps I misplaced them? Alice, have you seen them? Maybe there were just too few inside a big bottle? It often happens where there might only be ten. There were enough pills in there. It's just that our mom was gobbling down handfuls. Am I right? What do we do? Because of these roads. It'll take the ambulance two hours. But when I take a pill, it helps me. I feel better. I could go to the town, but I think it's better for me not to show up there. Okay, I'm going. To the pharmacy and back. Keep an eye on mom. Don't make her worry. Good day, Svetlana. Hello, Mrs. Sophia. Why did you come here on your own? Well, Oleg went to Moscow earlier, and I decided to take a walk here. Why didn't you call? I could have delivered everything to you. Oh, would you deny an old woman a stroll? Food delivery service, medicinal delivery service, so many good people these days. Walking is good for your health. What can I help you with? Uh... You want some sunscreen, a bandage, ascorbic acid? All wrong guesses, unfortunately. It's my blood pressure. It's jumping around like a young goat. Yes, I remember. Here's your medicine. Oh, the thing is, they no longer have an effect on me. Uh, the doctor, uh, he suggests something else. Just a second, my dear. Here. Those are good pills. They're new. The Kowalskis order them from the capital. Uh, may I order them too? Um, will the delivery take long? Well, they'll arrive in a couple of days. Oleg traveled to Moscow and I don't know for how long. I'm very worried and my heart is acting up. I heard that the Kowalskis went to live in the country. That means they won't come to claim the pills. Right. Why don't I sell you these pills here and then I'll order... A box for the next delivery. When they come back, your pills will be waiting. What a perfect plan. I'm always happy to help you. Uh-huh. Oh, here you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Thank you so much, Svetlana. Have a nice day. Take care now, Mrs. Sophia. All the best to you. See you later. <sighs> Has our package arrived yet? Not yet. It'll be here in a couple of days. So you suggest I go to Moscow to pick them up? Do you understand how much time I'll waste? Vitaly, it's your mother. Think of something, okay? Mm-hmm. That's why she'll have to catch a train to Moscow. So you'll have about six more hours to get your imposter mom to spill what she knows. Oh, Oleg. Hello. Hello. How's your dad? Uh, I don't know. I just got here. From the hospital? No. Why from the hospital? Oh, your father jumped from the balcony yesterday. The ambulance took him away. Listen, it's none of my business whether or not you decide to visit him.
Mom, tell me about my son. About Igor. And what's there to tell? He was a good boy. He was always playing with a ball. He could have become a soccer player. And who was my husband and what was his name? Alice. Can you please wait a second before my pills get over here? I can't stay calm talking about this. My heart is bursting. Where were they buried? In Moscow, Alice, in Moscow. Let's not talk about that. I just don't understand how you managed to bury them while hiding it from me. Did my husband have a family? Did they bury them? Then they don't know if I'm alive. Nobody knows. Marita did her best. You simply disappeared. And so did we. How quickly did you manage to fake the documents, both a passport and a medical record? What is it that you really want, Alice? Just the truth. What more do you want? We told you everything! You simply want... to drive your mother mad, that's it! But you're not my mother. stressed out plus these pills too no problem it'll all be over i hope so that's it i gotta go my mother alone with alice is like an armed time bomb bye bye i refuse to say another word i won't i won't why were you taking care of me why why what's the point of this charade did they pay you you understand nothing at all, nothing! Then explain it to me! We should wait for Marina! <gasps> Why should I wait for her? Who is she to me? She isn't my sister! Do I even have one? Alice Landon didn't have a sister, and Marina is connected to who's behind this! Someone has to pay for all this nonsense while I'm here, while I'm in, in the throes of memory loss, unsure of my identity! Who are you? Tell me! How should I call you? Tell me everything I need to know! Speak oh my come god! On. Just a second, just a second! What's gotten into you? She's taken care of you for so many years! Hello, ambulance? Yeah, we have a heart attack here. Write it down. Prevetslovo village. Yes, the roads are bad, but we have them. His state is critical, but stable. We had to perform surgery on a lung, and sew his spleen together, and mend his broken leg. Tell me, will he pull through? We did everything we could. Now, it all depends on him. Hang in there. When he comes to his census, I'll tell them to let you visit him. Alicia, how long have you been here? Where else can I be? I'm where Mr. Orlikov is. Tell me, how did this happen? It happened outside the office. I only found out in the morning. I kept calling him, but got nothing. We needed him to sign the documents, and the contractors kept calling, but he wasn't there. And then they said what happened was he fell from the fifth floor. Olesha. Olesha. Mm -hmm. Did he do it himself? No. Why did you say that? Mr. Orlikov couldn't have done that. Well, you are his assistant. You know best. If he had... If he had been thinking that, I would have noticed. But that's not the case here. What happened? I wish I knew. But it seems to me that someone helped him fall from the balcony. Who? Your dad had some land. And? Only, he didn't build anything on it. He didn't sell it, but then the buyer showed up. And? Mr. Orlikov was adamant that he would not sell that plot of land. The old estate park. Oh, so you know it. No, I don't know. Why would anyone kill the landowner? Because when you inherit the land, you could easily sell it. Yes, you could sell it off. Everyone knows that you aren't interested in the business. 
And why would he need that estate if construction isn't allowed there? Do you remember five years ago there was a big scandal in connection to that land? I read about it. That's prime real estate. It seems Mr. Orlikov wasn't on good terms with the press. Maybe the new developer has a better approach? Or perhaps he could get the press on his side? Besides, I don't think that anyone remembers nothing could be built there. Some people remember. So, how is she? Very unwell. How is it possible that you caused a myocardial infarction in a person who had recently recovered? I told you. Relaxation and positive emotions. But will she survive? It depends on you. You see, if it hadn't been for you, she could have avoided this one. This is all your fault! I was simply asking questions, but wasn't receiving any answers. Who are you? Who are they? Who is she? And what is going on in general? Not worth it. For all of that, not worth it! And who is behind all of this? You're a journalist. Figure it out then. And I need to rescue our mother after the things you've done to her. That's so? Yes, sis. Go on. Dig on the internet. Show them your face. Maybe you'll even go to Moscow. Not like they'll remember you there. I'm not gonna watch over you anymore. I don't want to. Mom might have wanted to, but I can't anymore. Why do you think that I'm still in danger of something? It's because you were right to notice that we aren't just messing around with you. And the person who's paying for you must be well aware of what he's doing, right? Here. Take it. If you want to live a little longer, you'll return home. If not, you know the way to the capital. And I'm sure everyone there can't wait to see you. Hello? Hello. How's it going? Uh, not well. That woman ended up in the hospital. Well, now I know that she isn't my mom, but my questions gave her a heart attack. Did she tell you anything new? <sighs> no, she didn't. She and Marina are sure that someone is still hunting me. Have you spoken with your dad? Not yet, no. And I'm not even sure that I'll see him today. He doesn't want to speak with you? He fell from the balcony. Perhaps it's someone's assistance. So Alice, listen to me. Keep a low profile and be careful. We don't know what's going on. Do you think it's about the construction? I don't know, but someone is interested in this land again. We don't know who he is and what he's afraid of. Listen, five years have passed. I have lost my memory, so why fear me? It's stupid to pay for my stay in this hole and at the same time, make an attempt on your father. And who the heck is he to begin with? Why did he make these women take care of me when he himself doesn't see me once? Well, maybe it's a famous individual. Maybe he has to keep low. Alice, seriously. I don't know. Okay. Let me find something about myself on the internet and maybe I'll remember. Keep me informed. Okay, bye. Bye. Alice Landon, search. Articles recent publications to demolish or not to demolish new buildings at Alice Landon. The reconstruction of the park is taking too long at Alice Landon. Alice Landon, family search. Begging you not to worry, it'll all be over soon. You know that I'll never abandon your mother. Marina, what was the professor of the press department doing here? Who? You know perfectly well who I'm talking about. It was him who I was supposed to meet when you came to pick me up, wasn't he? Alice, are you delirious? I simply don't understand what's going on. Why did he come here? Is he following me or what? Is he hunting me? I don't believe you at all. Now I'll go to the capital on my own and I'll find out everything. Yes, of course, of course. Calm down. Okay, you can go. But you should understand that now you're framing not only yourself, but also him. He's our man in Moscow. He warns us if anything goes wrong. Satisfied? Enough, I don't believe you. Right now, I need a train ticket bound for Moscow. Do what you want. But there are discounts on the website for the evening train. I 
I will tell you everything. Just not here. And that's how it is. Vitali is a professor at the press department. And your spouse. So he wasn't killed in the accident? No, he wasn't. And my son Igor? So it's him who's paying you so that I don't recall a thing. Well, it's so that you don't do anything stupid. I need to talk to him directly. I agree. You need to see him. The train to the capital leaves at 7. And you're not going to keep me here? Moreover, I'll see you off at the railway station. I'll call Vitaly and ask him to welcome you. But anyway, we should eat first. I'm starving. I don't need you to see me off. I need you to tell me why he hired you. I'll tell you. Right. Chicken Caesar salad. Two, please. Yes, ma'am. Well, listen. I'm going to wash my hands. Then we'll talk about it while we eat our salads, okay? We have a whole hour to discuss it. These hours, they look delicious. Let me get that. No, I'm all right. Sorry for the wait. So? What? Just start talking. Before I eat, I certainly won't say a word. I haven't eaten anything yet. What is this crap? What persecution? The land has been owned by the city for a while. I gave it away. Voluntarily? Son, it's just business. I gave them a problematic land, which is only good for excavations and museums. And they offered me tax relief. It's just that Olesha told me. Olesha is a fool, but it would be a shame to fire her. As for Semyonov, I'm selling him a plot. But you said you weren't. Well, until they offered me a good price, I'm not selling it. Are you here to talk about business? No. Granny and I are just worried about you. Dad, you... Tell me, are you alright? I... I mean in the head anyway. <laughs> Do you think I jumped off the balcony because I didn't want to live anymore? There were wasps on the balcony. At first, I didn't pay attention to them. How can one not pay attention to wasps? Well, if one doesn't spend much time at home... Son, come on, you're not ten years old anymore. Hmm? I came back home, went to the balcony, and there was a wasp nest under the ceiling. I then took a stool and a... a broom, and the wasp... As it turns out, you have to take it personally when someone is trying to deprive them of their house, and I lost my footing. Well, that's it. So no one made an attempt on your life? Only the wasps. Dad, what do you think? If this land is no longer yours, then... Who could be chasing Alice Landon? The journalist? Mm-hmm. How well, she treated me, then. I still remember... Her family name. I mean, no one has been chasing her. We even made peace. As a result before. At the end of the day, she was right. So it wasn't you who set up the accident? <laughs> Son, I certainly understand that you are a certified dreamer. 
but you should try showing some interest in my real life. I mean, once the unwanted journalists had been physically removed, no one would have would have been left anymore. Mmm. This is delicious. The less often you eat, the less complaints for the cook. Oh, yes. And so? All right, then. Ask your questions. <coughs> Just... <coughs> Tell me from the beginning. <coughs> How did you... <coughs> Alice, are you okay? <coughs> Waiter? <coughs> Waiter! <coughs> Help us! She's going into anaphylactic shock. She needs an ambulance. Young lady? Young lady! I was wondering why she started hey, coughing. Hey, young lady! Ambulance? The Central Cafe, urgently. <laughs> like this? me at the cafe. Marina, what happened to me? There were some peanuts in the salad, imagine. I couldn't even understand that nuts could cause a reaction like that. I need to go to Moscow to talk to Vitaly. Easy, you can't go anywhere right now. Vitaly has left. You shouldn't look for him, so calm down. So many people are in a fuss over you. You'll help me find my son's grave, won't you? No one will help me, Alice. The body hasn't been found. We didn't want you to remember all that. But if that is what you want... Was he the only one who died? There was no accident. How did he die, then? You were being threatened to stop investigating. But yet, you stubbornly continued looking into this. In order to intimidate you, they kidnapped Igor. It was done to force you to shut up. Ideally, you'd be scared. But instead, there was a program on TV covering the corruption going on in the Committee for Historic Heritage. You gave an interview to your colleagues. Why did I do that? Well, the program was already scheduled for broadcasting. But it all looked like a provocation. A number of officials lost their jobs immediately. And also, no one has seen Igor since that day. Not a trace. Alice, leave your husband alone. He came to warn you that they were going to do something on that land again, and they recalled you again. Why didn't he reach out to me? Because he still wants to live. And of course, he still can't forgive you for the death of his son. He loved him very much. And me? Well, you've always loved yourself and your job. Listen to your conscience, Alice. Stop all of this. Get a clue and quit it already. You're too paranoid. I found out you weren't at the evening lecture. If you weren't on a business trip, then what's going on? Hi there. So we've got three goals. The best results we've gotten in this age group. Whoa. A champion? Just like me. I suggest that you transfer Igor to the older group, the sports group. But I have to warn you, the conditions are harder. Two sessions a day, first at 7 a.m. Don't worry, I'll manage. We will manage.
up already? Good timing. Let's take your temperature. Excuse me, uh, do you happen to <clears throat> know where my cell phone, uh, my phone was in my bag? It's not there now. Do you think I took it? No, sorry, I didn't think that through. I just need to... <clears throat> to make a call for just two minutes. Do you have a phone that I can use? Call from the front desk. You have time while I'm giving out thermometers. Fine. All right. Mm. Hello? Oleg, it's me. It's Alice, and I'm calling from the hospital because I've lost my phone. What happened? Do you need help? Yes, I do. I need to get out of here right now. I'm heading for the press department. I can come later. By the way, you still haven't told me who I have to talk to. Uh, Vitali. I don't know his family name. Um, but it seems to me he... Mm, won't tell you anything. Because of my investigation, my son died. They kidnapped and killed him. Alice, I spoke with my father. He said what happened wasn't so intense. He says that you both made peace before you got into the accident. Do you believe him? Do you believe Marina? I need to get out of here immediately. Will you help me? How could I possibly release her right now? She needs to be observed for at least a few days. She needs an IV. We will strictly follow your recommendation. I can even give injections. But we need to observe the dynamic. We might have to replace some medications. I'll be calling. I promise we really need to leave right now. I'm begging you, doctor. She will need to sign the refusal of hospital treatment. Of course, right now. She can sign it right now. Uh, will you give us the form? And... Voila! <laughs> oh, wonderful. It really suits you. Thank you. This is way more interesting than staying at home. By the way, Oleg asked me to give you his old smartphone. Thank you so much. Oh, Oleg has so many girls, but he has never asked for anyone the way he asked for you. He really had many women? Based upon my experience, I can tell he likes you a lot. By the way, I like you too. You help me feel what active longevity means at my age. You know how it is, don't you, dear? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. She's escaped. What do I do? I really don't know, Vitaly. What do I do? I don't know. Yes. She won't go there. Well, yesterday I scared her so much she could run on foot to go into hiding. Stop panicking! She doesn't have a phone nor decent clothes. And we've got a perfect plan. It's coming to a head soon. That's it. Goodbye. Hello? You there, Alice? I am. So I went to your journalism department. Vitali does work there. He teaches press history. But now he isn't here. He took an unpaid leave. Well, if he's in danger, he might have to lay low. Alice, I don't think he's threatened. But something's up, isn't there? Perhaps it's not about your father, but... Someone's paying Marina and that woman. Okay. We'll figure it out. Keep me informed. Control! Control the ball! Pass it! That's right! Yeah, you got it! Pass me the ball! <laughs> Thank you! Yeah, my turn. I'm so excited. Now, your turn. Alright, alright. Come on, Alexei! Right, right now, don't good? touch the cones. Keep steady now. Very good, keep it up. 
still room for improvement. Keep at it, you'll be fine. Good. Lift your legs. Get in. But, Dad, I have practice. I said get in! So it turns out he didn't die. It's also possible that he wasn't kidnapped. But for some reason, they won't let him come near me. Or you going near him. Maybe I was the problem behind all of these, and maybe I am some sort of monster. And they had to hide me in Krasnohomsk to prevent me from harming my only son. I just can't remember everything. I have some glimpse of my memory, but I don't mm. see the entire picture. It's really frustrating me. All right, listen. I have a friend who graduated from a medical institute, from psychiatry. He's a good guy, but sadly, we rarely see each other. However, I always enjoy reading his posts. He writes some interesting stuff about psychology. Are you saying that he could help me remember everything about my life? Well, his latest passion is hypnotherapy. I don't believe in such stuff, but who knows? Maybe he's right and it does work. I heard that you could remember something important under hypnosis. I agree with you. Hey, Michael. Good evening. You're sleeping? Would you like a job? Hypnotherapy. You mean right now? Uh-huh. Well, that's great. We're on our way there. Memory map. It's moving backwards. The ribbon of time is accelerating. Winter, autumn, and summer. And summer. Five years ago. What do you see? Go to. You said you were on a business trip. Hold on. Uh, Alice, I, I did, but actually, well, let Good me Good afternoon. Explain. As I can see, this is your lover, right? Pleasure to meet you. I'm his wife. Stop, Alice. What's this well, girl's name? listen to me first. Do you know how to say hello? Hello there. Will you introduce me? Alice. Hey, what are you doing, huh? Alice, we understand that you're very upset. And now you have to stop. Please don't do this. My son, stop her right now. 
Well, all right. All right, Alice. Vitaly did something wrong. Mm -hmm. And you're very upset. So what? Will you send him out? Did you think how this will affect your only son if he leaves? It is Igor, huh? He needs a family. He needs a father. Believe me, because I raised a son myself. What were you thinking? You put on a ring and that would be enough? And that the man is yours forever? A husband must be treated well. He must be cared for, nurtured, and be valued by his wife. But what did you do? You had awards, presentations, contests, and whatnot. How should Vitaly feel about your background, huh? How can he live when his wife is always ahead of him all the time? How can you take care of him, huh? Of course he wanted to have a woman who would support him, someone he could rely on even just for a little bit. And who wouldn't steal his spotlight? Do you understand? Tell me, who would support him? <laughs> she is... She is my husband's mother. Oh my god, all these years I thought my mother-in-law was my mother. <sighs> Some daughters-in-law call their mothers-in-law mother. It's still part of our tradition. Oh my goodness. How they had turned everything upside down. What happened? How did I remember that my name was not Lisa? Well, if they had been a bit more professional, you wouldn't have remembered. I might say you were lucky. So why does it matter if she saw you? Because of Igor. Maybe she didn't remember him. She can't remember half of it. But Marina, I called him Igor in her presence. You see, she's a journalist. She may not remember her name or the past, but she can change her nature. If she puts her mind to finding me, she could. Vitaly, I've been telling you that we should have left earlier. And you kept saying we should wait. Are you happy now? Of course she will find the apartment where her husband is registered. Marina, let's set aside the question of who's at fault about this. The best thing to do is to talk about what we should be doing right now. What we're going to do is leave right away. <sighs> Marina, stop worrying. Just be patient. Everything is going to be okay. If that's what you want, I'll pack Igor's things. And I'll visit Mother at the hospital. You're right. This time we have to stick together. Well, this is the place my father lives in. I stay here when I'm in Moscow. And you even have your own room. You're right. And you'll be sleeping in it, over here. <laughs> so where will you be sleeping? In the living room. I can watch TV and play there. Well, all right. I wish you a fun evening. And I wish you a good night. <sighs> Mom, the important thing is that you felt really good with him. Oh, Alice, my dear. Well, I felt really good. I've loved your father very much, but... Mom, I understand. It's been seven years since he died. And you're still young and beautiful. It's easy to be beautiful when you're loved. Why don't you join us at Emirates, huh? It's really nice there. It's too hot there. And I have all my work here. Why? He doesn't want you to? Well... Yes, Vitaly doesn't want to. Mommy, can you please buy me an ice cream? Igor, you already had some today. But you can never have enough ice cream, right? Can we have some ice cream, please? What All flavor right. would you like? Come on, look and pick the flavor you like. This one, please. All right. All right. Thank Here's you. your ice cream, little one. Thank Take you, ma'am. Thank okay. you, too. Don't eat too fast. I wish I could see Igor more often. Grandma, you should visit more often. But Igor, You're right. your grandma lives in Dubai. But why, Mommy? It's better to live here. It is better with you. But sadly, I live in Dubai. Igor, do you still remember Svetlana? You know her very well, right? 
Mommy, she gave me an elephant before. Oh, you remember. That's right, she did give you an elephant. And she is a very good and kind woman. You will have to stay with her for a few days, you understand me? I promise to come back for you. But I want to come with you. Unfortunately, you can't. I have some grown-up business there. I have to deal with it by myself. As soon as I'm done, I'll immediately come back for you. I promise. Will you wait for me? Please don't worry. We'll watch some movies and eat plenty of your favorite ice cream. Right? You're going to have ice cream. We'll make sure to have a great time. All right. Thank you, Svetlana. <laughs> Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Are you all right? Mm-hmm. Well, excellent. We have a long day ahead. My friend from the police, um, he just sent me an address where your husband is registered at the moment. If I haven't pulled any weeds at all. Look, everything grew back again. You said we'd only be here for two days, but it looks like you brought enough food for a month. Oh, Igor doesn't like living in the countryside. It's not for so long. You can't miss your training practice, too. As soon as adult matters are handled, we'll leave. So don't worry. What kind of matters? For adults. Marina, come on, take the bags to the kitchen. But I'm in high heels. I'm not comfortable carrying heavy stuff. Marina, you have to. We have no helpers here. Ladies, let's not argue about this. Of course, it would be strange to think that he's just sitting at home and waiting for you. Maybe he could be hiding. He's not at home, and he's not at work. We don't know where to look for him. Mm. Hold on a second. 
I can remember that I have a friend named Svetlana. It seems like she was a very close friend. She must know something. Well, let's go to her. But I don't know where she is. I only remember that her name was Svetlana. Okay, listen. Maybe you already remembered something and you haven't gone there. You haven't been to the editor's office where you worked. Yes, that's right. The editor's office. Hold on, um... Before I go to work, I think I should change. Your grandma's dress is gorgeous. I know it's great, but I'm not entirely sure if I should wear it there. I think you look good as you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright, I get it. Changing won't hurt. <laughs> Something like this? Wow. I'm not sure Alice had this look, but I'm not Alice anymore. Nor am I Lisa. I'm not really Lisa. So for my new image, I can have this look or something similar. Right? <laughs> That's great to hear. Is your new self ready to go to the editor's office? Do you have the address? No. Well, they must remember me down there. I hope someone will. And then they will tell us something about my former self. So are you scared? I'm very scared. They'll be seeing the former Alice in me, and I have no idea what she was like. How was Alice at work? Maybe she was sleeping with her boss, or maybe she was the type who's scheming with her colleagues. No, it doesn't sound like you. You know I had this one ritual. I do it when I have something important coming up. It could be for a business trip or a hard exam. I used to take a sheet of paper and make sure to write the ideal scenario of what I would like to happen. Then I would make a paper plane. Then I'd launch it into the air. You fly it from where? There is a spot I know. Let's go there. All right. Thank you so much. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> Look, mine flew a little longer. That's right. What did you wish for? I shouldn't say it, because it won't come true. Come on, we're not children anymore. We have just launched our paper planes. And now we're hoping that it could influence our objective reality. It doesn't sound like an adult's behavior. So no, I'm not telling you. Excuse me. I find you both very photogenic. Is it okay if I take some pictures? Of course, it's all right. Well, in that case, we stand closer to each other. All right, um, like put this? your arm around your girlfriend. Please don't be shy. <laughs> uh, this is perfect. It's a super shot. If you don't mind, I'll keep this photo for my portfolio. Right now? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Lean your head against his shoulder. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> super. Now, another angle, please. You can look into each other's eyes if you want. Perfect. Wicked. Now that is a super shot. All right, show me more poses. That is so sweet. So right now, I'll take it. Oh, that is so nice. Is this spot okay? Oh yes. Are you telling me the truth? All right, I believe in you. All right, that's why I married you. I actually went there last night. Uh, so right. cool. Hey, Alice? Oh, Landon! Svetlana? Come on in. Oh, Alice. Well, you've changed so much. 
but I'm still myself. Why are you asking me that? I just suffered from a memory loss. Now some things are coming back, more or less. Well, but not yet everything. You know about the accident, right? <sighs> when you had an accident, Igor was with me. Vitaly came to me at once and took him away. He told me you were in the ICU, and then he would notify me when they allowed visitation. And then they told me that you went missing. I was looking for you for another year, Alice. I was even thinking of breaking into your apartment. Vitaly didn't know you had given me your apartment key. So I even gave you the key? You were going away for another business trip, and you were concerned you had forgotten to unplug the iron back home. You asked me to drop by and check it. And then... You just gave me the apartment key. I still have it here, in case you need it. I took care of it for you. <laughs> Move in together? Why not? I want to wash the dishes myself and bring the whole paycheck home. And then name my son Gordon. That's not bad. Before, your upper limit in a relationship was getting love tattoos. <laughs> what about your arrangement that you are working hard as a school teacher in Krasno Holmes and looking after your grandma? So what about your plan? Are there any contradictions? She's not a simple girl. She would want to live in Moscow. I'm very sure about that. Well, so what? I don't need that inheritance. I will not be so happy with a mortgage. Please don't say that. Are you really that serious? That's what I'm telling you. Alice. I'm with my father. All right. She says hi. Mm. He also said hi. Already? All right, so how did it go? Listen, the key plays well into our hands now. Alice, stop it. You're breaking into someone's apartment? All right, into your apartment. Alice, wait for me. I'll be coming with you. It's settled then. Right now, my son is really coming with Landon. I can see that he doesn't need the inheritance, because he needs Landon more. Times we live in suddenly change. Well, I hope you will approve. We'll see about that. So what? Are the Spaniards waiting for us? The contract is a year. Are you sure that Igor needs this? He was selected to be part of it. Vitaly, what's wrong with you? This is the best football academy. Don't you understand that this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? And it doesn't happen for just anyone. I'm just concerned that we're taking him away from this country. Listen, first of all, I want you to know that there is no good football in Russia. You will just stifle the kid's talent. Secondly, I can't take it anymore. I can't take what's happening here. You promised me, Vitaly. Or did you change your mind? Of course not. I didn't. All right. So all the papers are ready. I sent them the copies. The original is in the suitcase. Don't worry so much. Are they going to issue a printed court ruling to us? Well, if your mother is staying, as soon as she gets the papers, she can just... Damn it. The papers for the hearing. Why did you forget them? It's my mother-in-law's death certificate. I thought I had it. Left it on the kitchen table, so I won't forget about it. Oh, good job, Vitaly. You did a great job. Of all the things you could have forgotten. There's no folder. I don't like it to be crumpled. Then on the bright side, it isn't crumpled. Are you going to Moscow? Well, what are my options? You know what? I'll just come back. Maybe around dinner. Hey, wait a minute. Please remind me again. What are we supposed to be looking for? I have no idea at all. Not the best motivation before a break-in. Let me just clarify this. We need to find answers to our questions right now. Why did these people keep me at Krasnoholms for so long? Why would they be needing Lisa the Grey Mouse instead of Alice the Journalist? That's for a global scope. I like it. Let's go.
There you are, Mr. Vitali. Finally, you're here. You've missed two of our residents' meetings. Esparina, I'm sorry. I what have about no the time. capital There's repairs so and the do. other documents, huh? I don't care anymore. We're moving out. Goodbye. Now, look closely. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I remember. These are all mine. Why did they take it away from me? Igor, that's the Big Dipper. Where is it, Mommy? It's just out there. But where? The embassy called me. My mom just died. This morning. What did they say? Are they going to transport the body here? And why? She has been a widow for a year now. She doesn't have anyone. I have to go. All right, you can go then. Igor will stay with me for now. When you come back, we're gonna settle this. So our son will be staying with you and your lover? But Igor is my child too. Igor will be staying with Svetlana. Igor is my son, and I can choose whatever I want. You have to respect that. You have no power anymore. Since you started living with two families. <sighs> my mother died because of cancer in the Emirates. It was actually on the day I got in a car accident. When I was going to the airport to handle everything. He took my mother's death certificate. But why? I don't know, but it's time for us to leave. Did we find what we were looking for? I don't know. I must think it over.
Hello, husband. Where's our son? You took Igor away. You remembered you have a child? You were not thinking a lot about him while roaming on your business trips. Your whole life was one big deadline. Do you understand that your child didn't see you for months? Don't lie to me. I still remember going on walks with him. <sighs> All right, you do remember something. Well done, okay? Well, what else do you remember? You can tell me everything, but do you realize that after the accident you were unable to hold a spoon? You didn't recognize anybody else that time. Just imagine when his own mother can't recognize him. And he was only five years old, Alice. He was only five years old. I am his mother. You thought no mother is better than a sick one? I'm positive about that, because the time has shown that I was right. You are such a jerk. I don't understand what this man is doing here. What the hell are you doing in my apartment? It's my apartment. My mother gave it to me and you moved in only after the wedding. I remember that. So are you telling me that the memories are coming back? Yes. Well, I'm glad. Then why can't you remember right now that you are not only the savior and the superhero, that my mother and I have always been on your side most of the time? Yes, if it weren't for us, you would still be mumbling incoherently inside your house. We did our best to bring you back. So tell me, what's the reason why you didn't bring me back here? Because of Igor, I already told you. We protected him from all this horror. So you gave Alice another name, and have been convincing her that she's a provincial teacher for five years and that's protecting her? Of course we did that. She got mixed up in an investigation that could have ruined our entire family before. You know it's dangerous if she'd remember she was a journalist. She would have carried on with the investigation and would get eliminated together with her family. Mm-hmm. That's nonsense from the first of your last words. Are you sure nobody was after her? Huh? And you're sure nobody set up the accident? It was an accident. I got cut off by some jerk, then I lost control of the vehicle. And I remember that too. Well, that's great. I see that you know everything better than I do. So maybe, with your permission, I'd rather get going. You closed the door, right? I believe you brought the keys to enter the house. Take me to my son. All right. That's it? Yeah. But I have to prepare him first. I'll explain to him that you're alive. That we found you and then you want to see him. Well, I don't know. Maybe give him a couple of weeks. You do remember how gullible your son is. You can't just show up and then shock him with your presence. Give me his photograph. All right, then. This one was taken for the website after he scored such a decisive goal. We have a very talented son. <laughs> so see you in a couple of weeks. Alice, I'm begging you. Just leave us alone. Don't stalk us. I'll get him ready in a tranquil environment. Do we have a deal? I'll go ahead. He looks like me, right? <laughs> he does. So Lisa, aren't you alarmed that Vitaly agreed for you to meet Igor so easily? <sighs> what can he do to me? After all, I even know at what sports club my son does his training. No. They're plotting a scheme and they don't want you to interfere. I think you have to be careful. Yes, I feel the same. If there was something so important at stake, why didn't they simply eliminate you? Mm, they didn't have the guts to commit a premediated murder. You need a willful character. While well, Vitali, well, you saw him, right? We saw that he came for your mother's death certificate. So why does he need it? Wait a minute. That friend of yours from the police, can he possibly search for the exact date when I officially went missing? Hmm, I'm not sure, but maybe. I guess he's already asleep. Mm -hmm. I'll call him tomorrow. Do you have something in mind? 
Well, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Mm. <laughs> Got it. And what if... All right. Yes, thanks anyway. Yes, have a nice day. Goodbye. He said that you were listed as a missing person. Mm. Unfortunately, he couldn't find a date. Listen to what I've found. What? It says here that a missing person can be pronounced dead by the court in a matter of five years. Uh-huh. So why do they need you to be pronounced dead? Because of the inheritance. To tell you the truth, my mother's husband was a very rich Arab businessman. He died one year before my mom passed away. He bequeathed a very handsome fortune to my mom. That's why I'm in my mother's will. So that means you're about to divorce your husband. Hey, hold on. That means after the divorce, your husband wouldn't have anything given to him. <laughs> So that's what your relative's nefarious plot is about. Then there was a car accident plus an amnesia. How convenient, right? Everything is turning out in their favor. So what if Vitali staged that accident for you? That's what I'm saying. He doesn't have the guts. Mm -hmm. The only thing he could have done was to hide me and prevent me from remembering about my past. Well, that's really his style. Because he likes sophisticated plots. Well, I don't know. Had to live like that for five years. By the way, don't you want the world to know you're back for good? I would like to, but first I would like to know, when was the exact date when these people recorded me as a missing person? It's crucial right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, hi, Svetlana. Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is Alice. Sorry, I really need your help though, but I can't meet you right now. Could you please tell me if you happen to know the exact date on which they have recorded me as a missing person? Oh, I see. Um, do you know the name of the hospital where I stayed at? <laughs> we should talk to the owner of the house. Maybe he could sell it? I'd grow vegetables in the backyard. I love the smell of fresh air. But mom, there is also air in Spain, and a lot of <laughs> vegetable gardens. <sighs> so Mrs. Anastasia is sabotaging our departure again? Are you saying that I can't do it? I'd like to see Dolce Vita before my time runs out. I just hope everything will go according to plan. She promised not to bother us, at least for two weeks. And we only need one day. I think that's gonna be enough. What I think? Is it all right? I wasted five years of my life just being with that woman. And I will make sure to get what I want, no matter what it takes. Nobody is going to stop me, neither Lisa nor that Alice. I'm sorry, miss, but how can I make an appointment for you if you don't have Alice Landon's ID? All right. Can you please make an appointment for Lisa Kovalskaya with the same doctor who treated Alice Landon? Because that's what I need. Miss, the doctor's schedule is full next month, and he only treats those patients with severe cases or if it's really necessary. What should I do just to see him? This is a very urgent matter. Can you please just find a... Can you imagine Dr. Nicholas? She's blackmailing us. She wanted to go without an appointment. Good afternoon, Doc. So what is this all about? Well, it's so important for me to talk to the doctor who treated Alice Landon five years ago. Regarding what? Am I correct that you are Alice Landon? <laughs> I think you look fantastic right now. Unlike what you looked like several years ago, you were in bad shape. 
Don't you remember me? Sorry, I can't remember it. That time I was the doctor in charge of your treatment. <laughs> Follow me, please. Thank you so much. Uh, you know when you went missing from the ward, I thought I'd have a stroke that time. Mm -hmm. Even more when I learned that you were classified as a missing person. I was waiting for your relatives to take me to court for it, but I didn't hear anything from them. Honestly, Alice, I was very worried about you when you got into your accident. They didn't do anything? They really didn't. I often saw those people in my nightmares. Thanks for making the time to drop by. Are you sure you're not just here to console me? Sorry, Doctor, but that's not the case. I came here to know whether... You could still remember the date on which these people reported me as a missing person. Do you still remember it? I'll remember it till I die. Everything happened on August 28th. Bingo. According to this, the hearing on pronouncing you dead is scheduled tomorrow. Time of the hearing, the courtroom location, details are here. We're gonna have so much fun. Ugh. Well, should I write a speech for the court? Now I think you'd better get some sleep. A spontaneous speech from a well-rested person. All right, I'll do that because I'm a living person. Exactly. You should make a profound impression on the court. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Sit down, everything is almost ready. You know, it turns out to be really scary to go back to those who had buried you. You're right. When it's all over, I'll make sure we'll celebrate this day every year. You have really big plans for your life. And for you too. <laughs> but let's make sure to get through this day first. Will you drive me to court? Mm, no. You will drive me there. So drum roll, please. And I have with me the printed out copy of Alice Landon's official driving license. Hold on. I have a different name in my passport? What can you say? It's good to have your man at the police, right? <laughs> Maybe we could tour around the yard first? I don't know. What if I can't do it? Of course you can. Your subconscious can remember it. Just start the car, the ignition, gas, brake, and the blinkers. Let's go. <sighs> Will you take the wheel right now? I won't. You're a better driver than me. Come on, just drive. <laughs> Igor? I have to say everything again, especially about your case. And while at the court, they will be talking about your mom. It's nothing new, so don't worry. The judge will sign a document that your mother is dead, and then... But what if my mom is not dead? What if it happens that a person goes missing and they find the person even after 20 years? You're old and you still believe in fairy tales? Here, better eat up. Hey, Mrs. Anastasia, this is for the journey. If he wants to eat that at the airport, what will I give him? It's too expensive there. Marina, please stop talking about the money again. By the way, Igor, listen up. I think we must thank your friend from the police for doing us a very big favor. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we could invite him to a cafe? Maybe I could also invite Svetlana. <gasps> Alice, the brakes! Alice, hit the brakes! 
Well, this is a good idea. At least we don't have to lie in court. I think there are people inside that car. Are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, it's nothing. Just call a taxi. Taxi, we need to call a police. I'll just handle it myself. You just go to the courtroom. Yeah. All right, but I can't leave you here. Alice, don't think too much. This is just a car. Your fate is about to be determined. Please go now, I beg you. All right. See you later. Taking into account the above stated facts, the court believes that it is possible to pronounce that the person named Mrs. Alice Landin as already dead in the eyes of the court of Russia. It is because of the absence of information about her whereabouts at her registered home address for more than five years. This pronunciation of Alice Landon's death is required for the claimant to stop. lawfully acquire all- Please stop this! I am Alice Landon. I'm alive. Mommy? Wait, this is nonsense. Mommy! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> According to this, everything is doing quite well, if we'll base it here. Okay, the heart rate is strong. You can hear the heartbeat. Everything seems perfect. The placenta is a bit low, of course, but it's nothing. As you can see, everything is within the norm. Doctor, are we missing the important part? Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Have a look, she's so beautiful. <laughs> now I'll have a daughter. Yes, she's a girl. But I wanted to have a brother. Don't worry. There's a time for everything. So why did you bring that suitcase? Marina booted you out, didn't she? How will you commute to work? It's a long way from here. Huh? Wait, you got fired? No, I didn't. But I won't be working there anymore. Is this all because of that flea bag? She has no gratitude at all. We looked after her this whole time. Look what happened. She returned the money for her treatment and the utility bills. She could have bought a nicer house than this. And spend all the money at once, and then live on my own pension. Thanks a lot, but no thanks. Well, the house is all right. And I think the vegetable garden is really big for us. Well, the owner set a reasonable price, so with a little bit of care, this place will turn out fine. Here, do you want an apple? You'd better get used to it. Until you get a new job, we are going to live off the land. I can't afford Dolce Vita for now. You can't waste Alice's money. It's for a rainy day. Check where she took the boy. My son, you better search where he is. Is he in Krasnoholmsk? What's in it for him? He's a football player. So maybe he's in one decent football field there. Mother, with all her connections, she can build a new field and bring in a fancy coach. Damn it! I like this second project. You see, it had more scale. These two fields? One with a roof? And a winter sports center I wanted over there. There'll be enough space. I see there's enough space here. And what about the funds? A part will be covered by the grant which the governor promised to allocate with us. And we will be investing too. Roger, you don't want to save on children. 
Am I right about that? Okay. We'll build a skating rink too. What if my granddaughter becomes a figure skater? <laughs> We're also planning to give you a grandson. Maybe upon a certain request. He will be a hockey player. Uncle Eugene, let's build some ice here. <sighs> All right. So will you cover the new development project in Krasnoholms? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Dad? Are you bribing the free media now? She can grind us, but only if she has good reasons to, as you can remember. We can lend our ears to hear such criticisms. I can remember it. I remember it all. But I won't be covering stories. I'll teach my students to do that. They need some practice. <laughs> She's launching a journalism course at a local college. Isn't that downshifting? All right, my son. I'll cancel all about my terms and make it up to you. Just move to Moscow and go find a decent job. Hmm? You're one hell of a teacher. He's an excellent teacher. We don't have to leave at all. Dad, honestly, yesterday, I already registered a travel and an education firm. I can't leave right now, because my dream is slowly coming true. So what? You'll never come to the capital again? Don't worry, Dad. We'll drop by for sure. We'll visit you. Until then, we have so many paper planes to launch over there. We have so many. Maybe a whole fleet. Thank you.